Hello, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with a new way to honor our fallen heroes who served in the nation's armed forces. City Council members approved the creation of a donor recognition plaza at Memorial Park. The loop trail around the park's oval lawn area will be reconstructed with a new plaza and seating area. 8,000 bricks will be available for purchase by donors. Council member Rick Grady would like to be one of the first to buy bricks in honor of Plano residents who died in Vietnam. If the four families um, would, will agree, I am going to be honored to pay for those four bricks. For those four men we lost in Vietnam. The $640,000 project will include planting beds, sculptures, and new trees, making for an inviting area to remember these service members. Council also approved a much needed replacement of chassis and bodies on trucks used for trash collection. The older equipment reached a point where replacement became necessary to maintain current service levels without excessive breakdowns. The need for replacements is based on age, usage, maintenance costs, and resale value. Plano firefighters protect our safety, and now the city is making sure they are a little safer at their fire stations. Crews refinished bay floors with a non-slip coating that prevents slippage and falls when crews respond to incidents during inclement weather. One Plano firefighter described the new floors as grippy. The refinishing took place at four fire stations and likely will include more. And finally, a shout out to the Plano Senior High boys basketball team. Midway through the season, the fifth ranked Wildcats are undefeated with a record of 26 and 0. They are in first place in the district standings and remain North Texas lone unbeaten boys basketball team. Congratulations Wildcats and keep the streak alive. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, Plano.gov. We'll see you next week.